Hi, so I'm going to do some film scanning with my digital camera and I'm going to show you a bit about the process that I do, what equipment I use, uh, whatnot. Uh, sorry if most of this is not in focus. Uh, my camera was all fucked up when I filmed it, um, but uh, let's, let's get into it. Um, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to scan film with a DSLR, but I do it a tiny bit differently, uh, mainly how I hold my negatives, uh, what I use to, to keep them flat. So um, basically I have these sheets of glass that are four by five uh, anti-Newton glass. Uh, these are, this is the information. They work really well to keep your, your negatives really flat. And the reason I bought these is because I was shooting a lot of like um, expired film, which had a lot of like curling and, and whatnot. So the negatives were never really flat. And some of the other negative holders I was using wasn't working very well. They wouldn't hold a negative because they were curled too much. So using two sheets of glass like this, I was able to get them completely flat. I've been basically using it ever since um, for, for all my negatives and it works pretty well. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit of like what equipment I'm using and uh, then I'll go ahead and do some scans. So this is my setup. Um, pretty much just set up on a cheap $50 table with a lot of junk on it right now. I'm using um, Sony a7 III with a 90 millimeter lens and uh, basically just like a, a cheap uh, tracing paper uh, light tablet that I got on Amazon. And it's hard to see, but I, I do have the sheets of glass on there right now. Maybe from this side, maybe you guys see. There we go. And I have a tripod stand that has um, like a option to do a 90 degree uh, arm on it. And that's basically it. So I do use this remote trigger, um, really cheap on Amazon, works with my Sony camera, just so that I don't have to touch the camera when I'm uh, taking the photo. And uh, yeah, I have the ones I'm gonna scan today are right here. I'm gonna do these two. Now, one other thing I have is a tiny little level. And I usually just sit this on the back to see if, if the camera is level or not. I don't know if this is gonna focus. And it works well enough. I'm usually pretty close, at least close enough to get a usable negative. I wouldn't suggest doing this if you're going to scan for something uh, like professional or anything. Um, I've had some issues with the glass where uh, if I use um, like maybe like F8, I would get some of the glass in focus, which has a, a, a bit of a texture to it. And uh, that shows up uh, in my scan. So I found if I go to about F5.6, that's like the sweet spot where I can focus on the negative, but not really get the glass in focus. So that's basically what I've been what I've been scanning at. And um, the other thing with the glass is just making sure it's clean. I have to wipe it down every time I use them. Uh, I keep them in the plastic when I'm not using them just to protect them. Um, there's also the possibility of scratching them. So I make sure that the surface of the Light table is very clean also whenever I use it, and uh, I never touch the surface of the glass with my fingers. Uh, I pick them up from the edges. Um, the other thing with, with using the, this glass is there's a little bit of a, an edge to it. Let's see if I can show it here. I don't know if it's even possible to see. There's a kind of like an edge to it. You can see it there. So one side is a little bit wider than the other. And I've done a bunch of testing to see like how 
I can scan these with the, so that the <clears throat> scans come out as clean as possible. And if the widest edge is on the bottom and on the top, so in the middle where the two glasses touch is the more no uh, narrow edge, uh, that seems to be uh, get the, the best results. I'm not sure why, I'm sure there's some sort of science to these uh, sheets of glass. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do. So I'm gonna show you some of the settings that I use on my camera. First one I usually change is the white balance. I'm going to set this to, uh, basically I have a custom one, uh, which is the highest brightness, uh, 9,900K. Let's come to focus. I'm going to turn off the picture profile because I did some video shooting earlier. And the creative style, I just keep as neutral. Usually when I'm doing photography with this camera, I'll put it on black and white because I like to shoot in black and white. And um, then I'm going to bring it down to about one or five-ish. And set this to 5.6, keep it at ISO 100. And then I'll have to put down this camera, but I will put a sheet of film in, and then I'll adjust the height and the focus to make sure that I'm focused correctly. And maybe I'll do like one test shot to see if it's in focus, and then I will start um, skinning the rest of them. So to kind of show you how I focus, I tend to focus on the, um, I know that a lot of people say to focus on, on the grain, but I find it very difficult to do that myself. So what I'll do is I'll put it to the name of the film and I'll focus on that to see if I can get it nice and sharp. So now that I have it focused, I'll frame up uh, so that everything is almost to the edge in the sensor. I leave a border around the edge just to make sure I'm capturing everything. And uh, these are the settings I typically use is like 1 over 5, uh, f5.6, ISO 100. And typically for most of the black and white film that I use, this, this is like settings that work across the board. Uh, it's not always the case, and I will adjust uh, the, the shutter speed uh, depending on the film and if it's color, black and white, uh, if it uh, maybe was overexposed or underexposed. I think I might have overexposed this film a little tiny bit. Um, but since I'm scanning with a DSLR and they come out in a raw format, I do have a little bit more flexibility with um, adjusting the exposure and the contrast and whatnot. So, yeah. So I'll go ahead now and uh, scan this whole roll. So I can fit about uh, three frames uh, within in the, the glass 
And what I'll do is I'll set it in. I'll do the three. And then I'll move it back over. Slide the next three in because I cut my strips into six. One thing with this glass is when there's no film in between, it's super slippery. And if I don't make sure that it doesn't slide, I'm scared that it's gonna slide off and break on the floor. So I'm not gonna show the rest of the, the roll but uh, I think you get get the idea. Um, I have a couple of rolls to, to scan today, so I think I'm gonna end this here and uh, maybe I'll show some results after this.